Question marks still surrounding the high school girls soccer season this year. Even with the uncertainty of a season, coaches and players at a powerhouse program are optimistic a season, whatever it may look like, will be played. WAT6 on your side, sports reporter Kellyanne Stitz catching up with the Alcoa Tornadoes, whose contingency plan is giving them some hope. Bonnie Lauterbach, a senior center forward on the team, is preparing as best as she can to have a breakout year. To be able to play at the next level would be amazing, and so I know for me personally, I need the high school experience to kind of get my name out there more. Lauderback has been battling back from an ACL in a meniscus tear, relying on her senior season to get looked at by college scouts. I just want to be able to play at that level, and I think if we went made to state in one state, it would really help my chances. It's really important to have a senior year because scouts, you know, are especially looking for seniors. They're not really looking for, you know, juniors so much. Her teammate and returning team captain Shelby Knight knows what it takes to win a state title. But I've been to say all three years that we've been here and every year he says like this is the year that we win state which is true after losing in the state finals last year the team wants a chance at redemption and for seniors like Knight who was a part of the 2017 team to go out with another ring we have a shot to win every year that we come out here and work hard and do our thing so it's really good to be out here and it's a big deal for the players especially the seniors I think they would love to have championships starting in their their careers at Alcoa that would be a nice nice way for them to go out Assistant coach Charles Stewart says the TSSAA approval of regulations and a contingency plan that gives a roadmap to what the fall could look like if a normal season cannot be played gives the team hope. It gives me a sense that they want to ha us to have a season. Our only concern is which date's going to be the start of our season because that really affects what our training will look like for the next three weeks or next six or seven weeks. Hoping for a different outcome than the spring. We will do what we need to to make sure we have a season this fall. That's that's what we really want. Reporting in Alcoa, Kellyanne Stitz, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kellyanne, thank you. You know, according to the contingency plan, if Governor Lee's executive order is not lifted before August 10th, their season will begin September 7th. If it is lifted before the 10th, their season can go on as planned. Now, Alcoa's first game would be August 17th at home against CAK.